Hello! In this video, I will be going over Backrooms Level 479, also known by its other and much more horrifying name, Me After the Lobotomy. This level is actually so unnerving. Every time I read it, I get this like cold chill down the back of my spine. It's been around for like three years, and I think you're gonna love it or hate it or both because I love and hate it. It's disgusting, it is grotesque, but it's also entrancing in a way. And without further ado, I just wanna go ahead and get into it. Let's see why in the world this level is named, what it is, and let's just see all about it, shall we? So level 479 is the 480th level inside of the back rooms, and it's been given a classification of class five for it being unsafe, unsecure, and infested with creatures. More so just creature. The level itself is very, very enigmatic and very strange, and it's not really even like a usual level inside the back rooms. In fact, you can't even purposefully enter this level at all. It seems to exist outside of the boundaries of what we know to be the back rooms, which is saying something because the typical boundaries in the back rooms don't even exist. So this is outside of that already. Anyways, all entrances to this place have been accidental, thus getting an accurate description of its layout and its features and stuff is difficult to say the least. The level causes memory loss and communication issues to people who get sent and escape, so details that we do have are oftentimes filled in by their minds and imagination, which means they might not be fully accurate. But the general consensus of survivors that came from this level have said that at its most basic form, level 479 is a rusty, dirty, dark, and very humid building. Some say that the building is an old prison, some say it's an old abandoned hospital, some say it's a prison hospital, but all descriptions really emphasize and point out how old and in disrepair it is. Is. It is completely dilapidated and is completely getting destroyed in most areas and most of it is collapsing around you. There's no natural light sources either, which is a recipe for disaster for anyone that finds themselves trapped inside. This rusty old building is essentially a house of horrors though, as I'll explain later on down in this video. Encounters with level 479 typically last for one to two hours at max. That's that's it, which is good because any more than that, and I don't think we'd have any survivors that came out of the level. But it seems like the building and the level is just so unstable that it really cannot contain people in it for longer than that time period. Now, the reason the descriptions and the encounters of the level are so elusive is because uh, very few people have been sent here, period. And the state of their mental health and physical health when they come back pretty much makes it impossible to gather information. So now I want to get into information on why that might happen. What messes these people up? What causes them to be so mentally ruined, for lack of a better word? And I want to get into what might happen if someone finds themselves stuck in this level. It is estimated that 18 wanderers total find themselves stuck in the level each year, which is a pretty low amount, and that's pretty good because most people that get stuck here don't make it, like I said, a bunch. But due to this level and its properties, survivors that exit it always end up with some sort of unfixable and irreversible brain damage. And that's where the level gets its name, me after the lobotomy. The damage is typically in the temporal lobe of the wanderer, which makes communication either hard or very impossible. It literally takes away their ability to talk and to express emotions. The internal danger is very, very serious just by being in the level. And for the first five days after you exit, it can either be extremely mild or get worse as you go. Most cases though, after about a week of escaping the level, a survivor might just be in a fully vegetarian state, unable to talk, unable to move, and unable to eat or sleep until they just fade away. That's in worst case scenarios, though there are actual people that have survived, but those are even rarer. Most people that make it out of the level aren't even hurt physically, just mentally and internally with their brain. And it's not psychological, it seems to be that their physical brain tissue is also messed up. But what actually happens to them? How do they end up with this brain damage? How are they unable to talk and think and stuff? Let me get into that right now. Viewer discretion is advised, by the way. This is disgusting, so don't say I didn't warn you. 
uh, you, you have the Berkeley warning, viewer discretion. Most survivors from this level mention something called Entity 479-1. These creatures are only described as the following. They are very vaguely humanoids with brownish and blackish auras around them and wide statures. The entities are very obscure and very unknown because it's so dark in this level and everything happens so fast, you can't even see what's going on really. Their motivations, or if they cause this mental damage to victims, is unknown. Although it's, it's assumed that these creatures are what causes that tissue damage and the brain damage. Until the year 2027, no actual photographic evidence existed of this entity, until an unnamed wanderer, who was found walking around a random level in the back rooms, seemingly dazed and just off, you could tell something was wrong with him. They had a picture of this entity on their phone. The wanderer was taken into care and was still slightly able to talk, and he gave this account of surviving the level and running away from this creature, and then he showed this image of the entity as proof of it. The wanderer's condition would then get worse and worse, over that next week, and they eventually became non-verbal and then just decayed away over the next weeks until they didn't make it. The following symptoms have been observed in people who have survived the level and the entity 479-1. Impaired sensory processing, reduced talking ability, inability to focus, and short-term memory loss. All of these are very common traits of individuals who have experienced this level and interacted with this entity therein. Now, some people, like I said, do heal from the effects, and only about 12% of the people that get sent here eventually go into vegetative states or comatose states. So you have like an 82% chance. It is still unknown what this mysterious entity does to its victims or how it does it because it's, it would be really hard to inflict that sort of damage without like cutting open something. Do you know what I'm saying? And there's never physical injuries on the wanderers that leave. So it could be that the entity scares the people so bad that it just causes their brain to crack. Or maybe the entity does something where it goes in the wanderer's mouth or nose and that's how it gets to the brain. We don't know. It just seems to happen. Whatever it does, it makes the victims nonverbal, delusional, and sometimes vegetative. To enter the level, like I said, it's random, and no purposeful entrance has ever been found, and it's thought that you couldn't even go there if you wanted to. There's no warning signs or anything to look for, you'll just randomly get sent here after walking around one day. To exit, you have to be in there for an unspecified amount of time, and then you'll just randomly get sent back to the level you came from, whenever the level decides. You have no choice, the level does it for you. If that happens, of course, you will never be the same again. Mentally, physically, none of it. This level constantly scares wanderers in the back rooms, because they sit there and they never know if they're going to be picked to get sent to it. No one knows what controls it, no one knows how they're chosen, but whoever gets sent here, it could be their end, you know? This old hospital, this strange enigmatic shadow creature, this decaying, humid, rusty, smelling atmosphere. It is really the stuff of nightmares and I would not want to get sent here. This level physically and mentally ruins normal people by essentially lobotomizing their brains without opening their head so that it has to go through their like their nose, their mouth or something. So if you have any theories on what the entity does to these people, let me know in the comments. I don't want to get into it because I don't want to get demonetized. But if you find yourself in this level, Godspeed to you. There's nothing I can help you with. Thank you so much for watching to the end of the video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like for the old Brewster. I would really appreciate it. Thank you for all you do and your support. I ask you to just check out my description if you want my Twitter and Instagram and third channel Spoogly and all that stuff. I upload content like multiple times a week on all this stuff and do all that jazz. So if you want to keep up with me and do all that jazz, I'd appreciate it. Thank you so much for the success and the growth here on Brewgly and, and Spoogly as well. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you all so much. I'm just so grateful for all of you. And we've been doing this for like four years, guys. We we have been hyper focused on the back rooms and the liminal liminal aspects of things for so long and I, i'm still so intrigued by it and i'm so glad you guys are watching it too anyways with all that yapping and sap stuff out of the way love and appreciate you all tell somebody you love them as well life's too short not to and with all that said i'll see you in the next video